gentlemen, welcome to House of Glory. I am JD, alongside Matthew Ryan Shapiro. In our main event, it'll be Joe Gacy, CCW's world champion, going up against our own Anthony Gangone, our champion, your champion, JD. And we are kicking off the show with the Glory Foundation. As we have seen in recent weeks, Richard Gibson has been campaigning to get good Hank Flanders a title shot. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention? My name is Richard Gibson. My client, Mr. Good Hank Flanders, does not have a title shot. If you would please help me help him get a title shot, I ask that you sign this petition. We have a petition for Mr. Good Hank Flanders. He can't get a title shot. For my client, Mr. Good Hank Flanders, he can't get a title shot. Do you want to sign my petition to help out? No? Come on. Do you know anyone that can help you with that? I don't know anything about it. Anybody? No? It looks like we're about to get a state of the foundation address.
some connection to. Evander James goes one-on-one -on -one with Alexander the Tank Falcon. You know, I'm gonna stop you right there, JD, because <laughs> you see the thing about it is Brian Excel's talked about God and Jesus telling him that he shouldn't wrestle, that he should turn the other cheek. Well, <laughs> Evander James turned that other cheek. We at the trust felt like it was our ethical, moral duty to put Brian Excel into a position where he couldn't say no anymore. And Vander James put Brian XL's father in the hospital. But instead of it being Brian XL in that ring coming up next, it's some random employee who tells fans to put down their cameras. Brian XL coming up next. We make an example out of another one of your bitches. So I'm gonna go do what I do best, and that is ensure the well-being of my client and JD you make with the talk speak because coming up next it is Evander James the uncrowned king of House of Glory taking on Tank. Stay right where you are you know what's good for you. episode of HOG Live. I've got the chance to see Matt Riddle. I feel like if you're a wrestling fan, you gotta be pretty keen on where Matt Riddle is heading and at the rate he's heading. Cody Rhodes makes his return to House of Glory at Adrenaline, but on the eve of the event, you can witness his House of Glory debut match against Matt Riddle. So I, I feel like I'm a nice little uh, speed bump for Matt Riddle tonight. A little bit of a dose of reality on this meteoric rise that he is rightfully on. Watch HOG Live Fridays at 8 p.m. on Facebook Live. You may know me as Tank the Security Guard. My actual name is Alexander the Tank. When I came to Hog, there was nothing available. And Brian XL gave me a chance. When I first started House of Glory, Brian XL saw nothing in me. He saw potential in me and decided to make me head of security. And for that, I'm grateful to Ryan Excel, you are the first person on my list. At the last show, I had to watch Van James in the trunk attack the man that gave me an opportunity. And I just decided that that wasn't going to happen. So now, 
You have to do. House of Glory rolls on, and we will see Evander James go one on one with Alexander the Tank Balcom. And joining me at ringside right now, the man who just moments ago had a slight altercation with Kevin Nash, good Hank Flanders. Now Flanders, I gotta ask you something. How are you feeling? Did you not see what happened? I was assaulted. Oh, you mean Kevin Nash choking you? He did not choke me, he assaulted me. What is wrong with your voice, man? What's going on? What do you think? Evander James and the tank. That's not gonna do any good. Ladies and gentlemen, the tank, now a full-time House of Glory superstar. Big clothesline over the top. The tank was very impressive. Last month, with glory comes pride. He teamed with TJ Marconi and Brian Burgundy in a six-man tag against the Trust. And the tank was a key to their victory. You started without me. <clears throat> and look at the athleticism. Well, he is a tank. Absolutely. Shapiro now dead in the face of the tank. He better watch out. Shapiro's a tough man. He's been training in Taekwondo. Wow, Shapiro is crossing a line. I don't think he wants to overstep. You don't want to get in the face of the tank, but is he behind the chains? Look at the athleticism. And he's met with a stiff elbow. Evander James clearly flustered here. What are the fans chanting? Whatever it is, Evander James can't let it get to him. Absolute disrespect by the audience. Like I said, the tank was a key to victory. In that big six-man tag last month, Evander James knows that all too well. And look at that nonchalant cover. That's not going to get it done against the tank. Very athletic for his size. You know, Evander James is also worried about many, many things. Brian XL, he keeps calling out and just won't answer his challenge. Absolutely. It all started back in September when Brian Burgundy was driven right into the mat with a package pile driver. Followed up by blatant disrespect of Brian XL trying to coax him into a match after the man was retired and both men knocked each other out. Brian XL he said he was going to give an answer to the trust. And then Evander James takes it into his own hands and goes to the church of Brian XL's father and commits the ultimate sin to try and get this man to come out of retirement. Listen, Evander James is a man you could trust. And if he says he wants an honest one-on-one -on -one match with Brian XL, Brian XL should just trust him. A sick man is Evander James. He's not as sick as I am. But yes, I was indeed quite sick. Look at them trading blow for blow. What an opera cut by James. The thing is, Flanders, will we see Brian XL tonight? Is he in the arena? I haven't seen him. Maybe he's scared. Wow, what a shot by Evander James. Evander James better watch out for tank spinning back fist. We saw it early in. Look at the power. Look at the power of Evander James lifting up the tank. Gets out of that one. A lot, spinning. Of, a lot of core strength there, JT. Spinning, spinning back kick. Oh, my God. Scissor kick right to the back of the neck. Why isn't he going for the cover, though? I don't know. Go for the cover. Go for the cover, Tank. Look, he's pandering. 
to the crowd. That, that's a dangerous man, and he's pandering to these. Giving us his best Booker T impression, and Shapiro, I guess, wants to tell the referee how nice he looks this evening. And he gets what he deserves. A spinning back fist to a man who did nothing to him. Shapiro was just knocked off the apron. Undeservedly, I might add. Tank is looking to finish this one off. Look at this, Evander James got something in his hand. He's got the book. He's got Shapiro's book. And that's a disqualification, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the coward, Flanders. Look at the coward, Evander James. Tank should have paid his library fees. Unbelievable. And this is the man that's trying to coax out Brian XL for a fight. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There he is. Brian XL. What and is Evander that? James goes running. Look at that. What is that coward doing here? He doesn't show up for months. And look at him taking his jacket off. <laughs> Brian XL is here. He's ready to fight. Shapiro and Evander James backing away. Look at, look at Shapiro waving his finger like a little child. Episode of HOG Live. I've got the chance to see Matt Riddle. I feel like if you're a wrestling fan, you gotta be pretty keen on where Matt Riddle is heading yeah. and at the rate he's heading. Cody Rhodes makes his return to House of Glory at Adrenaline, but on the eve of the event, you can witness his House of Glory debut match against Matt Riddle. So I, I feel like I'm a nice little uh, speed bump for Matt Riddle tonight. A little bit of a dose of reality on this meteoric rise that he is rightfully on. Watch HOG Live. Fridays at 8 p.m. on Facebook Live. Anthony Gangone takes on 
Joe Gacy coming up next. This is something I've been looking forward to all night, Shapiro. Look at this, CZW versus HOG. You have two of the most interesting men in professional wrestling, the Chainsaw, and one above all, the king of House of Glory, Anthony Gangone. Joe Gacy is exactly what they say he is, or what he calls himself, a pro wrestling maniac. Super high intense. I mean, look at him, he's biting the top rope. This guy's ready to go. The champion showing his card early here. He's sending his camp back to the locker room. How long is that gonna last? Joe Gacy is like a caged animal, just jumping on the top rope. He's ready to go. Show that man the respect. Combat zone wrestling, right? I saw you online on that uh, Facebook thing, and you're like challenging people to street fights. And I thought you were doing that. That's what I mean. Let me ask you did you get DJ High's approval before you did that, or what's the deal with that? Oh, you're an older man, right? You want to fight people, you want to fight the fans, you want to fight idiots. Street fight, Shapiro. We got a street fight between Gango and Gacy. The champion. So he has said it. So it shall be. The man among the god amongst men, Anthony Gango. Oh my God! Look at the intensity. Beautiful drop kick by Gacy. You have two of the most non-chill individuals in pro wrestling. The two most aggressive men in Gacy. Oh my God! Gango. Good Lord. Flew right through the ropes. Not even 30 seconds in, this thing's breaking down. Gangone's gonna have his hands full. He may be the champion, but tonight, this may be his toughest challenge so far this year. Gangone going from that side L in our last event. That side L, Eddie Edwards. And the thing about a street fight is, you would think it would serve Gacy well, but we've seen Anthony Gangone in no ropes matches, being hung by his neck by that piece of garbage Brian XL. We've seen him go through doors, go through tables. He has sacrificed everything he can. So it could be anybody's match. Right here. Gacy with that big knife edge chop. Right in front of the House of Glory Faithful here at the Elmcourt Center. Main event, Gacy's title not on the line. Dan Gone's title is. Wow, right over the barricade, Shapiro. It is insanity here in Queens, and that is the thing to point out here tonight. There's only one title on the line, even though it is champion versus champion. It's not title for title. Street fight means that this entire building is a free for all. Hell, the entire world. This thing could get out of Corona and head to City Field down the road. We're fighting up the staircase here. We're going up the stairs here at the Elmcourt Youth Center. They're going up by the concessions. We're not, we're not Tupelo. Wow! Somebody just went flying. Dan Golden went flying. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try to give you all we can where we are. We are directly behind our stage. Oh no, they're, oh that's not good. They're making the loop around. Oh no. Gango's grabbing a table and Gacy's on the edge of that staircase. Lady, get out of the wall! Oh, Lord. And the CCW World Champion was in a quarter of the way down the steps. Gacy now back on his feet. Heading back towards the ringside area. Oh. Not before he gets a few shots in on Cancun. Oh. 
Battling it out on the staircase here. Referee Lewis Zeno Jr. having a bit of a tough road to oh, oh my God! You know those skateboard videos where someone flips off the board and lands? He's gonna wanna go see a doctor. They're making their way back to the ringside area now. Guardrails, they say. We'll keep him out of the fans, they say. It does not happen. Dan going to open his mouth. Street fight, he's getting one. Hey, look, if they get over here, I'm hiding behind you. Me? I've been, yeah, I've been hit once tonight. Not again. I'm sure you got Juba's number on Speed Dog. We'll call him. He doesn't answer my ne never. Dan Gong. Kick right to the face, Joe Gacy. Hits the pavement. This hardwood floor. Oh my God! And Dan Gong with a sadistic smile on his face, right in front of the camera. The action never stops, but we've got to take a break. We'll be back with more. This is House of Glory Wrestling. Impressive by Dan Gone. He's going for a cover. One, two. Now, I'm not one to judge our champion, but didn't hook the leg, and now going for a variation of a Cobra Clutch. Seated, and you can see the champion putting his knee into the shoulder blades of Joe Gacy. Very good move here by Dan Gone. After all that Gacy's been through, now he's got this Cobra Clutch applied on him, trying to fight out. Back to a vertical base, punches to the gut, headbutts, anything that works. And that kick sends Casey to the outside, Dan Cohn. Wow, look at the velocity on that one. Dan Cohn, climbing the top now. Perpetual motion machine, the champion. This is why he's the world champion. Thumbs down, off the top, Dan Cohn flies. Big frog splash. Perfectly executed. Well done by the champ. He needs to get that cover. Took Hooks too long, Shapiro. Took too long. Casey had just a couple of seconds in between to kick out of that one. This is a House of Glory World title fight. Anthony Gangon versus Joe Gacy, the CZW World Heavyweight Champion. Once again, it's champion versus champion, not title for title, which is very important. Gacy's looking to win it all here tonight. Wow, what a nice move there by Gacy. Had the wherewithal to kick Gangon off the top rope. 
And now, the pro wrestling maniac. Stepping all the way up. Third the rope superplex, Shapiro. All the way to the top. Big superplex. That ring must have moved about two inches. And you can see the champion when he landed, he felt that one hard. He felt that so hard, he was checking his fingers to see if he had movement. And that could have been a muscle spasm, it could have been a twitch, but the champion, cognizant of his own situation here, and he's in trouble. Big superplex by Casey, but it took, it took a lot out of him just as it did Gangone. Both men up to a vertical base. This is a slugfest here. Irish whip. Big spinning back elbow. Wow! Top elbow. Look at the intensity of Joe Gacy. Ooh, a two and a half. That kick level can't go right in the jaw, followed up by that elbow. Not enough, though. Fireman's carry. Gangle's trying to find out. Look at this. Uranagi there, and a kick right to the side of the face, followed up by a senton. Great combo. Could this be the finish? One, two, no. This match far from over, JD, in our main event. Got to give it to Gangon. Gacy is literally throwing everything in his arsenal at him. And Gangon has survived. What a main event here, ladies and gentlemen, at the Elmcore Center. New World Rising, and Ken Cohn just spit on Joe Gacy, and that's going to open the floodgates. That's not a good idea. That is the opposite of a good idea. Ken Cohn maneuver out of that. Beautiful move there. Great move by the champion. Brain Buster! Beautiful Brain Buster by Gangone. He's going for a cover quick. I think a woman in the- Put on the rope! Little bit of leverage, but not enough. I think a woman in the crowd just had some sort of spasm attack because of what happened by the champion. It's not every day you see a man get kicked in the face while in a hike position. I think that happened once in an AFL title game in like 66. That's how the Kansas City Chiefs win. I am not a Chiefs fan, again. Wrong with you. I don't know. I'm a brave state. What do you expect? Not much. Big knife fist shot by Gancon. Oh, Shapiro Casey has taken him. It's as, like giving him choices. It. It's giving him strength. Devastating headbutt. Off the ropes. Handspring. Wow! Handspring into a rear naked choke. Rear naked choke by the champion. His shoulders are down though. You can see a little bit of daylight. But this is a situation where the champion needs to be cognizant of his body positioning. And he's, in the, and he's in the center of the ring, Shapiro, with those with that body scissor. And he's trying to roll out of it. And look at that cattle wow. mutilation. A cattle mutilation by the champion. What a move by Dan Cohn. And Casey reaches the ropes. Great ring awareness by Joe Gacy to get out of that move. Gets to the no man's land underneath the rope where you're halfway in, halfway out of the ring. A drag pot in by the champion. Isolating that arm going for it, probably again, maybe a chicken wing. Gango knows he used a cross face chicken wing in the past. Reversal. Both, oh, men, both men fighting so hard here. Almost caught him in the temp. Wow, what a spinning back elbow there by Gango and Gacy still up. Oh my God. Like two bulls running into one another. That type of headbutt almost ended Shabbat's career. Close line, Larry. Ow. And that's exactly right. Headbutts like that in careers. This is a certified main event. Two of the biggest champions in professional wrestling. Champion versus champion. Here tonight in Queens. 
Pacey's pointing to the top rope, Shapiro. What the hell does he have planned here? You know what? If I tried to figure out what Joe Gacy was doing at any given time, I would not be able to get anything done. He's moving a little bit too slow. Logan goes back to a vertical base. Headbutt. Stuns Gacy momentarily. And we know how dangerous those headbutts are. How potentially career-threatening, career-ending they could be. I select the leg. Wow! Right into a cutter off the second rope. And spring! And crash out! Look at that! The New ice. champion! Could be cover! One! One. Oh my God, Shapiro, give me a break. The house of go saving their leader, willing to die on the cross. More like screwing Joe Gacy out of the house of glory title. I say saving it. We don't want it to go to CZW. We don't want it to go to Philadelphia with the garbage. Gacy's fighting off the entire house of go here. Oh Lord, that's Ezekiel Lewis! Ezekiel Lewis! And over, over the top! Into the other disciples! The referee is Joe Gacy's down. got his back turned though! The referee's down! What the hell is Gang going thinking now with Joe Gacy on the hardwood tile? Look at that. Gacy gets right back up. Don't tell me. This does not look good. This is not going to end well, Shapiro. No, this is not. This is not a situation. Oh, oh my God! Through the goddamn table. He went through the goddamn table. We might got a new world champion here tonight. We might have a new champion. Gacy might have the House of Glory World title within his grasp. Dan Cohn just flew off the top row through a table on the outside, and he hasn't moved a muscle since. He dropped almost 10 feet. The rest of the house is crawling over to check on their leader. Gacy doesn't care. He's pulling the champ up. Got to get him back in the ring to make that three count. Referee Luisino Jr. back up. You can see that he's out of it. Dan Cohn is hurt, Shapiro. Look at this. Easy pickings right now. A chair, maybe? Electric chair into a version of a German suplex. Both men cover. One, two. It look like, but here comes Shuba. Shuba's walking with purpose. Power bus. Sit down, power bomb. Two. Wow. That is the resolve of our champion. That is the determination of our champion. That is why he is the House of Glory World Champion. And if Joe Casey had any damn guts, he would put the CCW title on the line. Trying to fight off the House of Gango, but Juba gets nailed with the title. Casey. Interception by Casey. But look at Gabe Goon! Uh-oh. Casey's got the House of Glory title. dango has got the CCW title. And both men at the same time. I think Gacy got caught before Gabe Goon could. Both men are down, and this is a situation where all Gabe Goon needs to do is roll over, cover. One, two, down! I don't believe that, Shapiro. My God! I don't believe that. What a match! It is gut check time. Both Gacy and Dan Goat headbutts. Got him. Uh oh, dreams. We're gonna see dreams. Dreams by the water! Oh my god! Dreams by the waterfall. One, two, three. Still the champion!
JD from New York. Watch The Good Brother on YouTube. I'm Matthew Ryan Shapiro, and this has been a new world rising.